Hey, what's going on everybody? Steve here, Rake and Profit over rakeandprofit.com coming back to you with another video. And in today's video, I wanna share with you a strategy that I use in my life when I feel like I'm procrastinating or I'm just not taking action in my life the way that I know I should. If you wanna change your business, if you wanna change your finances, if you wanna make more money, if you wanna be able to go on vacation, quit your job, it's all about taking action because the actions that we take on a regular basis are going to create our results and our outcomes. But if we're consistently in our head, then we're dead. If we're consistently procrastinating and overthinking things and you know we're letting our mind get in the way and we're stuck on that hamster wheel, we're never really gonna get to where we want to go. So one of the things that I realized amongst people who are really progressing, taking action, getting results in their business, getting results in their life. Some of the most successful people, they make sure that when they don't feel like doing something, that that is when they make sure that they do it. Our character isn't defined by us doing the things that we know we need to be doing when everything is going right, when eBay sales are flowing, when we're feeling good, when it's nice and warm outside, when who knows, maybe we're getting compliments and we're feeling great. That's not when our true character is defined. It's really easy easy to do the things we need to do when we're feeling good. Our true character and the results that we're going to attain long term come from our consistency over the long haul. And in order to be consistent, you're going to have to do things that you do not feel like doing on a regular basis. There's going to be days that you wake up and it's rainy and it's cold and maybe you didn't get the best sleep, but you've got a goal of making $3,000 a month selling on eBay. In order for you to do that, you're going to have to list a certain amount of items. You're gonna go out and you're gonna have to source a certain amount of items. You're gonna have to check your inbox. You're gonna have to deal with customer service. Maybe you have a goal of losing 15 pounds over the next six months. You're gonna have to stay on point with your diet when you don't feel like it. You're gonna have to work out when you don't feel like it. It's gonna be tough to say no to that nice chocolate pie when it comes around when you've already eaten all your calories for the day. I'm not saying that you have to be 100% on point every single time and always do what you always have to do when you don't feel like it, but at least 90% of the time, you're gonna have to stay on point. Our true character isn't defined by the actions we take when we're doing well, but it's truly defined by the actions that we take when things aren't going well and we don't feel like doing it. So if you're having one of those days where you're like, you know what, maybe you woke up and you're like, I just don't feel like listing. I don't feel like sourcing. I don't feel like training my employees. I don't feel like pushing forward. That's when you've got to do it most. Obviously know your boundaries, but for the most part, that muscle's gonna grow. When you feel, when you don't feel like doing it, you're gonna get stronger. So if not means, now, then when? If not now, when are you gonna change your life? Here's the truth. Here's the honest truth. And when I share this with you guys, I'm not talking down to you. I'm not talking to you. I'm literally talking to myself. You guys are just a reflection of myself. And I'm, what I'm saying here is, is coming right back to me. We all have dreams. We all have things that we want to accomplish. We have goals and dreams in our business. We have goals and dreams with our finances. We have goals and dreams of helping our friends and family and society and contribution. We have goals and dreams with our body and how we want to feel and places we want to go and travel and adventures and things that we want to experience. But the thing is, we make up excuses. We justify on a regular basis why we can't do what we need to do in order to accomplish our goals and our dreams. We keep kicking the can down the road. And the thing is, we all think that we're so damn special. I'm so damn special because one of my family members just passed away and it's been eight months later, right? I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna get harsh in this, right? I feel so damn special because I went to the doctors and they diagnosed me with something eight months ago. I feel so damn special because when I was eight years old, 10 years old, the teachers told me that I wasn't smart enough or I was slightly autistic, right? When I was nine or 10 years old, something horrible happened to me and I experienced something. Like we all have so much nasty stuff that has happened in our lives and, and reasons, right? Reasons why we can't live our life to the fullest. We all have these dark hidden secrets, these things, these challenges, these demons that we're fighting with. And we use these negative things to justify why we can't be the person that we know we need to be. And here's the question I wanna to pose to you today. If not now, then when are you gonna get your ass out to the gym? If not now, then when are you gonna get out to the thrift store and list 
start getting some items to list. If not now, then when are you gonna shut off the YouTube, stop watching the Rally Roots, the Rake and Profit, the Rockstar Flippers, the Bonafide Hustlers, get your ass out there, find some stuff, and list it up. If not now, then when? You know, in society, we live this, this life with the clocks and the calendars and the sun's going up and down. Nothing really matters. Only now is what matters. When are you gonna change your life? When are you gonna stop listening to the bullshit that you're telling yourself every single day? Oh, I can't, I can't work out today because I only got six hours of sleep. And I don't know if I'm gonna be able to go to the gym because maybe some of the, maybe the eye boogies are gonna get in my way and, and, and what if I fall off the elliptical? Shut up, get to the gym. I'm talking to myself right now. When are you gonna take the time to slow down? Slow down, stop freaking going psycho all the time doing everything that you're doing and slow down and start writing out your goals. Start figuring out where it is that you wanna go in your life. Start figuring out why you wanna get fit and healthy. Start figuring out why do you wanna make $100,000 a year? Why is it that you wanna accomplish your goals? Because the motivation that you have, right now I'm amped as a mofo. And I, guess what guys, I'm on zero pre-workout right now. I had maybe, a, my coffee is like, only one fourth of the way done. You wanna know what I'm on right now? For all the people who are taking shots right now saying, you're on pre-workouts, you're so amped up. Those are people in all good hearts. They don't understand how you can have so much. I'm pumped up on life right now because I'm thinking about my goals, I'm thinking about my values, I'm thinking about attacking life and that's where you gotta get. You gotta get to that point where you don't need a pre-workout. Do I wake up like this every single day? No, but you can put yourself in a state to stop listening to the BS to take action today. Stop kicking the can down the road. Stop pushing your dreams down the road. You can change your life. Changing your life isn't gonna happen in three days. It isn't gonna happen in a week. It isn't gonna happen in two months. But if you start taking action today to change your life, you're slowly but surely gonna start molding some results in your life. Some results are gonna start coming. You're gonna make your first sale, your fifth sale, your 12th sale, and you're gonna start to say to yourself, wow, all those people who told me I wasn't smart enough to start a business, I think they're wrong because I'm starting to get results. And that motivation will then turn into momentum. Because remember, motivation and inspiration is short-lived. 